Good morning, everybody. Let me welcome you to the Reconstruction of the World Online Conference. This is Thomas Seibert. I think you've met him, if you've been following us. And my name is Katja Bauer. Before we start, we would like to give you a little view behind the scenes of this conference, because if you're online, you just think you have to switch on your computer and you're in this virtual space. But it's not quite that simple. We've been tinkering with this for weeks to make this work more or less smoothly. So here you're on the bridge of this conference. You can see lots of wiring and people working here, people from Medico and people from the technical company enabling all of this. And it's been quite a bit of work, as you can tell, by all the wiring. Let's now walk over to the studio, because we thought we'll do one studio to get at least some good images from the local studio. But as things are working so well, and as our colleagues have prepared so well, it's all running quite smoothly. This is the camera inside the studio. And once we've sat down, we're allowed to take off our masks. and we can sort of sum up what has been happening so far. Right, Thomas, give us a short summary. Well, we're now facing the last day. I hope my microphone is still on. We're now facing the last day of the conference. Two days are behind us. And at least, as far as I can tell, we've been quite able to live up to the tasks which we set ourselves. One thing was finding a common understanding of what the situation of the world we are in really is. And how can we change this situation of the world? This was the focus of all the presentations the focus of all the panels, and it was also discussed on the chat function a lot, which worked much better than we would have thought. And now you tell us what was your highlight. Well, apart from the fact that we had Ulrike Hermann and Rita Sigato and our colleague Herdegger as a wonderful combination women discussing. We didn't say that we need a certain rate of women. It just worked out. But the most important thing to me was maybe what Musa Changari said. Maybe not everybody heard this. He said, we want something completely different. And if somebody from Niger says this, who is really in a very desperate situation, then we need to take note of this, that this, in fact, is a mission which we should flesh out a bit more. And it fitted in very well with what came next, Rita Segato's forum and Eva's forum, because they exactly discussed this. What does it really mean, stating in a desperate situation, I want everything to be different. I don't just want to have a piece of buttered toast so that I don't starve. I want a bit more. And this was really discussed in all the forums. And we were facing with this severe, serious problem. Rita said the desperation we're in also has to do with the fact that we are finite beings and that the power which is pursuing us all the time, that is haunting us, really comes from this logic, from this patriarchal logic that we need to suppress death and the finite nature of life. But what happened then was that she turned around the argument. She explained what Musa said. On the one hand, we are people in a desperate situation. And at the same time, we are people first who are not willing to put up with this, and who secondly demand everything to change exactly based on this desperate situation. And I think this was really great. Then there was the idea that in a world, that we're living in a world of things. 
Rita criticized quite massively all this digitalization and the disappearance of bodies in this two-dimensional world. But on the other hand, we have to say that we really made quite good experience with this uh, conference. The discussions have been as exciting as they rarely are at a real-life conference because this format really forces us to think about things and people are able to exchange. So a lot is happening in the background, also among the speakers, and certain networks are emerging, which we wouldn't have expected to happen. So we are excited about this happening, but we are also victims of this world of things. If you want to look up something on YouTube, now you can't do this, unfortunately. We've been blocked by YouTube for some minimal reason. We don't know what it was. But uh, it was not just some person, but, well, it was an algorithm that threw us out. And we can't call them. There's just a fax number and a mail address in 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 the Netherlands. So it will take a while until all this material will be accessible again. But uh, now Thomas will tell us what we're doing today until the end of the conference. Well, all the five lectures which we will have heard by tonight will focus on the situation of this world as a capitalist world. And their topic is changing this world and bringing about a different world. And the first three lectures which we heard are focusing on a decision of the world. Of course, also speak of changing the world. But today the focus will change. Ashil Bembe and Susan Bakmos will turn away from describing the world towards changing the world. And then we will hear Thomas Gebauer and his lecture. And finally, a final forum in which what we intended to do will really be related to the specific situations, again, in which everyone is in. So let's now hand over to Eva Wuchold of the Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung, Rosa Luxemburg Foundation, who is one of the co-organizers of this event. It's